everyone welcome to excel at work this is a series of youtube videos giving some tips tricks and the practical use of the various formulas available in excel uh, coming to me i have been using excel for the past 25 plus years in its various formats and I'm an engineer by profession so some of the examples will be related to my line of work and I'll try to keep the examples sort of universal so that anyone can enjoy working in Excel welcome you all we will go straight away into one of the basics use of excel that is combining words and numbers so this is a small sample which i entered just a few minutes before this gives a serial number the item description the quantity the unit the rate of apples orange and pineapple so we want to show this in a text format giving a statement stating there are 20 kg of apples at the rate of 200 per kg and the value is 200 times 20 that is 4000 the basics of combining a text and a formula is put is equal to and we will show you how to combine two tech in just part of your data apples and let us say 20 this is how it looks like apples 20 with a space in between so for that putting a space you need a quotes and again the formula this look apples and 20 something which is not this text this codes can contain text so you can put here at this apples at 20 this is this formula apples 200 per kg so we will write now the whole formula let remain here we will write the formula here is equal to like I said there are an ampersand 20 and ampersand space space between 20 and kg is a space here again ampersand kg ampersand of of what apples apples is b2 you can write it here b2 after an ampersand b2 ampersand close what is this at the rate of at the rate of again look at the rate rate is 200 that is e2 e2 again close the cell again 1 percent that is per kg kg is again is unit it's in d2 so again d2 and percent what do you say and the value is again text close we need to multiply the unit the rate into the quantity that is rate times quantity and then close it so it is exactly same text is visible to you but only thing is this is a continuous text this is a formula if you see this formula it is link to this data available with you so if you want to copy it to here I'll overwrite this one 20 per kg oranges at 120 per kg value is 3000 10 k each of pineapple 80 per kg value is 800 so the advantage is here is suppose some apples got sold 5 kg apples got sold so balance 15 is there this auto reflected here while this doesn't reflect because it's a text same way if the rate changes 
most is going on the shopkeeper decides to change the rate so it is 225 per kg the value becomes 375 same thing orange is not going at all stock so let us reduce the kg to 100 rupees the value becomes 2500 what to see here is this says there are 10 each of pineapples at 80 per each and the value is 800 this should read as 80 10 numbers so the next video I will try to share with you how I will share with you how to make sure when each is there the quantity should be in numbers not in each if you put here numbers sorry if you put here numbers as a unit then this will say this is the 10 numbers of apples at, at 80 per numbers this is going to be 80 per each so we will see in the next video how to ensure <coughs> how to change your data depending on what data is already available with you thank you for watching this video and let us hope that you will excel at work